Folks, in this video today, I'm going to show you how to build a rabbit box. I'm going to give you the complete dimensions that you need to build this box. Um, I'm not going to try to insult your intelligence by explaining to you how to use a brad nailer or how to glue wood together and those kind of things. Just, be, just gonna, You'll see a little footage of the build itself, uh, tweaking the trigger and that kind of thing. And, uh, it's mostly about just showing you the design and uh, giving you a couple of little alternative ideas that you can use with it and uh, giving you the complete dimensions to build a box. So stay tuned. We're going to get it done. And when, we're, when I'm done with this video, you'll know everything you need to know about building this box. So stay tuned. Folks, there you go. The completed rabbit box. Uh, it wasn't my intent in this video to teach you how to build a rabbit box because most of you know how to build anything you want to build probably. But what I do want to do is make sure you've got some dimensions. Because uh, a lot of times you'll find videos and they they seem to forget to give you all the dimensions. So so that's that's mainly the main thing I want to do is make sure you've got some dimensions to build by. So this is one by six material. 
So it's three quarters of an inch thick and it's five and a half inches wide. So for the box itself, these pieces are 27 inches. 27 inches. The, the floor or the base is 34 inches. Okay, to the center of the hole from the opening back is 18 inches. Now the trigger, I'm not going to try to give you dimensions on the trigger because you'll see in the video uh, I'm continuously fiddling with it and trying to get it right but you can see the basic design, I just bend it into an L and then bend it over so it doesn't fall through the handle. The lever I guess you'd call it. And it just catches on the inside of the hole. Now I've cut it just where it's about an inch shy of touching the floor on the inside. So for if you're going to put your bait up here in this end, and I'm going to use the apple to try to catch a rabbit, your bait is going to be here where the rabbit's got to come by that trigger to get to it. And so the whole idea is that he bumps into that wire and sets off the track, locks it down. You've got your piece of wire down here that locks the door so he can't get out. So once you, once you get it tweaked a little bit, you'll have to play with it just a little bit. So I, I had to add two more one ounce sinkers on the end of this one to get the door to work out. So, so I had a good weight on this end so it would trip consistently. So you want to play with that a little bit. I thought that piece of rebar would be enough, but it wasn't. This is so long and heavy for one thing that it it counterweights. It acts as a counterweight to the door. And on, on one of them, even though there's the same dimensions, evidently the weight was a little bit different. And if this went past here, it wouldn't even trip. So I had to add more weight. So I went ahead and added some more to the other to, to them both so they'd both be a little bit more consistent. And plus it closes a little a little quicker. So I like that. Now if you didn't have if you didn't have something like this that you could add to it for extra weight, you can double the thickness of this door. You could take and cut two two doors and like I say, sandwich them together, which would double the thickness and double the weight of your door. And your door is six inches long, six and a quarter inches, excuse me, six and a quarter inches, which is exactly what it should be. So by standing this five and a half piece, five and a half inch piece on top of another piece, the, your opening is five and a half inches tall and it's four inches wide, which is fine for a rabbit. So once again, your base is 34 inches. The box is 27. The door is six and a quarter. The lever is 21. And you could vary that a little bit one way or the other. Uh, you could bring the lever all the way down and it would give you more weight on the door. That would be another option. And I used a piece of coat hanger. You could use some trapping wire or just whatever you happen to have. Uh, you could strip down some copper wire if you got like some 8 or 10 gauge copper wire. You could strip that down and use it. Uh, I don't know if you'd want to use copper for your lock, for your latch or not. Um, you want something that's kind of stiff and that coat hanger wire works really really good so once it's, once it's closed open closed you see it's uh it's pretty it's pretty stout a rabbit's not gonna come out of it and of course you saw how i had to take my little file and and, and file me a little indention in there so it opened a little eat more easily um i I burned them a little bit, just trying to age the wood a little bit uh, because a rabbit box will do better as time goes by. The older it gets, the more weathered it gets, and the more rabbits that have been in it, the better it'll catch rabbits. So the, the, the ideal thing is to have them built several months ahead of time and 
let them weather outside which I didn't have the option to do. I thought I was going to build these out of uh, some lumber that I reclaimed off of some pallets, which would work. But when I started looking at it, it every piece, it was even off the one pallet, each board, they were different widths. Uh, they were concave, so it would be real hard to build anything square. And so I decided against that. I decided I'd just wait and save that and use for something else. Um, probably firewood, <laughs> but so I just went and bought some, I bought three eight foot one by sixes, just pine, uh, from Lowe's and I bought some little hinges. You can, you know, you, if you've got some hinges, use what you got. Uh, there's another way to build them without using any hinges whatsoever. You could have a slot right here and build it so that the door drops in. Uh, a rare, this is a similar design. It'll have a trigger down here in this end and it'll bump it and it'll teeter-totter down and the door will shut. Uh, there's, there's several different ways to build rabbit boxes, but I like this design right here. Um, I used to trap rabbits in boxes years ago. And they can be very effective if you got very if you got some rabbits around. So that's going to be the next thing is to find some rabbits because the, the coyotes, we got plenty of them around here and uh, they love rabbits too. I'm really looking forward to catching one or two, so I like to eat rabbits. So anyway, hopefully we'll get some video footage of a rabbit getting caught in one of these boxes here pretty soon. So, there you go.